morning, welcome to Breathe Kids. Give us a wave if you are ready and excited for an amazing morning. Awesome. If you are new with us this morning, thank you so much for joining us. My name is Lucy and myself and the Breathe Kids team can't wait to spend our mornings with you. Today we are starting a brand new series all about the Book of Acts which is in the New Testament and the first thing we are going to look at is the Holy Spirit. We are now going to go into a time of praise and worship so get yourselves ready, get your dancing feet ready and your singing voices ready, let's go and praise Jesus together.
I love praising Jesus with you guys. Now as we are looking at the Holy Spirit today, I thought it would be good if we could remind ourselves of what happened when the Holy Spirit first came. So let's watch this cartoon together. Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello. They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya. So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, Jesus! They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle, and thought the believers were just acting oddly. <sighs> Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, "Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you!" He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven, and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them, as He had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, "Brothers, what should we do?" Peter told them, "Each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God, and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit." Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. Three thousand people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah,、oh, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshipped together at the temple every day. Met in homes for the Lord's supper and shared their meals with great joy, all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Wasn't that amazing? Now's the time for you to go and get your notebooks, your Bibles, and your pens ready to take some notes. You have got ten seconds. Go. Now we can't physically see the Holy Spirit, but we can feel him. Can any of you think of something we can feel but can't see? I can think of a few things. For example, I want everyone to take a big deep breath and then breathe out. Could you see your breath going in and out, or could you feel it? I could feel it. Or another example: If we were going outside, what can we feel but cannot see? The wind. Now I know that the wind is real because it blows my hair all in my face. And you can see the tree branches moving because of it, so we know it's there, even though we can't see it. Did you know that the Holy Spirit was with God in the beginning of time? We read this in Genesis chapter one, verse one, and it says this: 
In the beginning, God created the sky and the earth. The earth was empty and had no form. Darkness covered the ocean and God's spirit was moving over the water. Okay, so we know that he was there at the very beginning of time, but today we are gonna look at a different time the Holy Spirit was mentioned. Who can remember who promised us a helper, the Holy Spirit? If you said Jesus, you are correct. But the Holy Spirit didn't come straight away after Jesus left to go to heaven. The disciples had to wait. Let's read what happened when the Holy Spirit finally came. Turn with me to Acts chapter 2 verses 1 to 4. It says this. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a noise came from heaven. It sounded like a strong wind blowing. The noise filled the whole house where they were sitting. They saw something that looked like flames of fire. The flames were separated and stood over each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they began to speak different languages. The Holy Spirit was giving them the power to speak these languages. Wow, so the Holy Spirit was here now and living within all who believe in Jesus. That means he is living in you. Do you know what is amazing? The Holy Spirit empowers us all as individuals for specific tasks, but only if we are willing to be used by him. It can be as simple as prompting you to be kind to someone, to standing on a stage and telling people about Jesus. How exciting is that? So for the rest of the month, we are going to learn about what some of the apostles did with the help of the Holy Spirit. And I am very excited about it. And I hope you are too. Let's pray. Dear Lord God, we want to thank you for sending us a help of the Holy Spirit. God, I pray that we would allow him to work through us so that we can tell as many people about Jesus as we possibly can. In the name of Jesus we pray, amen and amen. This week you have got a brand new memory verse to learn and it's from the book of John chapter 14 verse 16 and it says this. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper. He will give you this helper to be with you forever. Say it with me, John chapter 14 verse 16. I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper. He will give you this helper to be with you forever. Why not write this down in a notebook, underline it and highlight it in your Bibles and stick it on your mirror so that you can remember this awesome word of God. Now this week we have a brand new devotional for you which you can find on the Breathe New Life Church website underneath the Breathe Kiss Church section. But if you are in church, you will find this on the tables with all the colour and don't forget to take one home with you. We hope you've had a great morning. We have certainly had a great morning with you. I loved learning about the Holy Spirit. Don't forget to come back next week to find out what some of the apostles did. We hope you have a great first week back in school. We'll be praying for you. You're all awesome. We'll see you soon. Bye.